Alrighty, let's watch this first here. All right, so the main impression is that it's this drop here gets very, very slow. Now looking at your notes here, uh, for the second character, I'm not sure what I can do at the first 15 frames. I mean, you can just have a, you know, arm down, arm down, and then tensing up. It's like he knows, he sees that this guy's charging him, so he gets tenser to get into this pose, into this. And you can, I mean, you can almost have a little bit of a step forward, not too much movement. You don't want to distract from him, but I think a little bit of getting ready into this and probably overall lowering this just in general and maybe just start then a bit lower. This silhouette could be a bit clearer and then gets, gets into that. There's something about this where oh, I think the head could be just a bit further back. And there's something about oh, gets there's a like a launch and a, and a momentum going up here that then suddenly stops, flattens out and then drops here. So make sure that it doesn't feel like we're just doing this. There's a bit more of a finishing an arc and then going down. I think that's the main thing that I see on that guy. But yeah, as a whole on him, I think it starts okay. We go straight into action with a nice move out. Even though it's a bit twins, I would just have a bit of an offset there. And then even this leg feels slow and not quite sharp and powerful enough you can see the amount of spacing you have here to get there where i would probably delay that almost a bit more and then bah, and then really go into that cut this frame out and get into this sooner and stretch it out potentially you really want to feel that foo, that impact so right now the main impression is that the hits here on that leg is soft and then that drop feels a bit slow motion you're not quite physics wise working properly and then watch out your arcs uh, like the pivots there's something about he as he goes forward suddenly the head stops and now we're kind of pivoting off this neck for a couple frames there stuck in 2d space you want to make sure that it doesn't feel so locked and then you have a bit of a move up and then to the side to give this a bit of a once over in terms of arcs but then like your 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 pivot and the center of gravity and all that it's going to be through there so if you're going on a backwards move like this, it suddenly starts to drop a bit fast and a bit straight. It feels like you want to be a bit more like that. But then after that drop, given the speed, you have to look at how fast this is, it starts to slow down and now we're hovering in space. So this is your culprit right there as well. And then after that, we're suddenly, after this locked move down here, we're pivoting out this way. Where I would really make sure that it feels like we have a bit of this. And right now it feels like we're starting there, locked straight down, hovering, and then suddenly going forward into the drop there. And then your root goes down, bam, and then stops into this. And it's a bit of a oh, compression up that can buckle a bit more. So you have a bit more of a down impact. This feels like it's too stop and straight over this way. And this I would either cross the chest or not enough. Right now it feels like you're you're hitting it here and it's kind of a tangent and then we're forming that line. We're, we're following that line and only at the end getting into this where I would just either break it more or just not at all. And it feels a bit pose to pose where I would get into this sooner. It's a bit faster, not so straight. Give it a bit of a nicer arc. Where I can kind of get back and then settle. You want to go from this. That to me seems like a transitional period into another pose where he might go uh, forward again, ready to attack. It's a horrible drawing, but going back and then settle. It feels like we're, we're going straight from this pose. It's a bit too pose to pose, straight pass, and then kind of locked where I would go that as a transitional pose into a settle, into your into your ending pose. That has a bit of a more dynamic uh, line of action again where you might be attacking like, more of a lean forward where it doesn't feel so so broken and, and stiff with that upper body so straight in the head like that all right that's kind of what i have for this thank you all right 
there's an email, you can sign up, you can start whenever you want, you can submit whenever you want, you get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right, thank you.